Hello and welcome to K Studio channel. I'm excited to present to you Fusion, the parametric modeling plugin for 3ds Max. With Fusion, you can effortlessly create and modify any geometry that can be distributed along a path or any complex objects, such as stucco moldings, fences, bridges, etc. Today we will explore all the features of Fusion through the creation of this fence. This tutorial uses a 3D model from Geometry's Balustrades collection. Check the link in the video description to download it. The fence is composed of seven objects called Start, Inner Corner, Outer Corner, Middle, End, Glass, and Handrail. Let's kick start to create a fusion. First, go to Case Studio category under the Create panel. Now, choose Fusion. Then, switch to Modify Panel. Under Geometry, let's start picking all these objects to add them to the list. For this tutorial, I will add each of these objects one by one, to make it clear to you to understand the process. Let's pick the three parts of the middle post, the bottom, the middle, and the top. Under Parameters, let's pick the spline along which the fusion objects will be distributed. Make sure to check the link to spline option to align fusion objects transformations to the spline. You can control the geometry display mode and the viewport to be a full mesh, a box, or a hidden object. For better illustration to the bottom part, let's hide the middle and the top parts of the post. You can enable or disable the object during rendering. Open Gallery button provides a list of models ready to create new Fusion objects. Also, it allows to add or replace something in a Fusion object selected in the scene. The gallery can also be expanded with the profiles from the molding library. For now, we will skip the settings of pivot alignment, offset, and rotation. We will go through them in detail after a while. By default, the object size is added with its original dimensions. Pressing the lock button locks the proportions of the object. The reset button resets the dimensions to their original values. From parameters, we can change the distance between distributed objects and their count. We have three options for filling. The default option sets the number of copies and distance between them manually. However, we can set them automatically choosing auto count and auto distance options. Fusion provides five ways of distribution. For this case, we will choose the fit to method. It allows the distribution of an object between other objects or spline vertices. There are five possibilities of the fit to option dependency. In our case, we want to fit the object to the spline corners. The fit to option is processed through the pivot point, center point or pivot alignment. We will illustrate their differences within a while. Indent options are locked or unlocked, based on the selected way of distribution. In the case of fit to, we can use trim method to truncate the geometry from the spline start and end vertices, according to the start and end parameters. Align follow option allows two methods of distribution, perpendicular to the spline or to the surface. Copy and paste settings allow transferring parameters from one object to another. Shade selected option highlights the selected object in the list node and to the viewport. We can also manage object updates in viewport by checking auto update option. Now, let's unhide the middle part of the column. This time we will use the link to method to smartly join the middle part to the part at the bottom. 
we will use object as a dependency option. Let's select the middle bot part as a dependency object. Also, we will select the use object pivot alignment option to anchor both objects. Kindly note the color appeared on the right side of the middle mid node. It represents a wire color of the link node of middle bot. Following the same steps, let's continue processing the third top part of the column. Now, it's the time to have a deeper look at the object pivot options. First, let's choose the use object pivot point option. After choosing this option, the pivot alignment options will be ignored, only mirroring options are available to use. On the other hand, the selection of use object center pivot option activates all the pivot alignment options. The third smart way to select is the use object pivot alignment option. It depends on the pivot alignment option and surface area. It's useful for easy and precise placing, especially using with mode link to object. And now, let's check the possibilities of offset settings. It controls the offset of the object relative to the spline or object. Let's keep playing with offset settings and its possibilities. By the way, there are two ways of previewing materials of fusion objects. Using the custom materials method, the user can specify his own material. However, the from nodes method generates the material based on the materials of the original geometry. Rotation settings control the rotation of the object relative to the spline or object. Following the same steps that we have done for the middle column, we can correctly align the inner corner column. The only different step is that we should select the inner corner option as a place to link the bottom part. Let's apply the same steps to the other middle and top parts. Great, let's add the outer corner column with the same technique and change the link to corner dependency to anchor the start. Let's add the rest start and end columns in the same way. Great! As we have finished allocating all the columns, let's add the glass panel. 
This time we will use the stretch to option, it stretches the glass panel between other objects or spline vertices. We have to change the start and end offset values, this is to create some gaps between the columns and the glass panel. Last but not least, let's add the fence handrail. The fusion option is the most suitable way to use for this case, it glues copies along the spline to have one continuous object. Congratulations, we have finished the parametric modeling of this highly detailed modern fence, it took us very few simple step to build it, thanks to Fusion plugin. Being a parametric modeling plugin, Fusion elements are instantly updated in case you change any of their related splines. Here is a last small tip to mention, you can select a node in the list directly by clicking it and holding the control button. That's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next tutorial.